Hi, my name is Jody Collins, and I'm coming to you from Renton, Washington, near Seattle. It's a Sunday afternoon, and this vlog is for Soli Deo Gloria's Across the Kitchen Table uh, talk on the first Monday of every month. Jennifer Ferguson, our fabulous leader, has suggested we all kind of sit and chat um, and pretend that we're inviting you to our home, sitting down over a cup of coffee across the kitchen table. I am walking slowly across my dining room because before we sit down, I want to take you outside and show you the view from here. It is a fabulously beautiful day. It's very cold, but we're happy because it hasn't been raining. It's a beautiful blue sky, and we're thankful for those things. I think the hummingbird feeder might show up in back of me. There it is. When I sit out here on the deck, the hummingbird often shows up and she flies by and scares me to death. It's very, very fun. Anyway, here's the view outside our window on my deck. To the, uh, You can see the fabulous clouds in the background, the trees, and that's a skyline. And if you look really, really hard on some days, you can see Seattle, and we really enjoy it. We're very blessed to live here. So I'm going to take you back inside, and we'll sit down. What I thought it would be fun to do is talk about um, what's sitting on top of my pile of mail and talk about words and music. The sound you hear is my electric teapot bubbling in the background. I haven't made my coffee yet. Um, here is my pile of mail. It probably looks kind of like yours on the kitchen counter. You know, just a little bit of everything, bills and stuff. And this week I want to talk about words and music. I received a letter from a friend that I haven't heard from in months, which was like water to my soul, and other things that came in the mail this week that bless me. So um, without further ado, I'm going to talk about, first of all, my letter from my friend Rocky. And this is really weird because I'm walking backwards. So this is totally unedited, as you can tell. So. My letter from my friend Rocky looks like this. Da, 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 da. Can you see that? Rocky teaches in early, used to teach early childhood like I do, and um, in California where we lived. Um, I have known her for many, 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 many years. We have raised our kids together and we have grandchildren and a lot in common, and she's the kind of friend that. I might be able to see her once every 10 years, but when I sit down, it's as if we never left the kitchen table together, and we are precious, precious friends. Excuse me, that was very rude. And it was a delight to get her letter, and these words are what really, really blessed me. She shared that she had turned 65 in December, which I can't believe. Um, I'm 60. I had no idea she was 65. And when I was reading this letter, she talked about what she did. Uh, for her 65th birthday, and this, I just thought, this is what friends are all about. I decided to invite some lady friends here for a celebration. I got this idea in the middle of the night, a week before my birthday, so I started calling, texting, and emailing friends. 32 women came to my house on the morning of my birthday. We had such a wonderful time of fellowship. The thing that blessed me so much was to see these women talking and laughing together. Jody, I want you to know that I would have loved it if you could have been here to help me celebrate. I told everyone not to bring a gift, just to come and be together. The older I get, the more precious relationships become. And that's the first thing I want to say is, you know and I know that girlfriends and relationships are the life support that we need. And I just wanted to share that with you, what a treasure it is for me to have my friend Rocky. But... Um, just encourage you to stay in fellowship and keep reaching out to your friends. The second thing that came in my mail this week, if I can reach for it, is this little envelope da, 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 from Brown Paper Tickets. And it's to an event this Thursday night that my husband and I are going to with Ann Graham Lotz, who will be in the Seattle area doing a conference called the Awakening Conference, and I'm very, very excited. There is a worship leader with her, Fernando Ortega, who has recorded some fabulous music, which is my all-time favorite music to sing. And I'm very, very excited about this conference. I have a link here in my vlog to one of the songs that I love that Fernando sings. And if you have a chance to ever find Fernando Ortega's worship music online, buy it, because it is just incredibly anointed. 
The last little piece of music I want to share with you is something fun that came in the mail also from Amazon.com, good old Amazon. It is a recording of, there's my finger, okay, old people, clap now, um, da, 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 da. oh, it's sideways, okay, it's backwards, Harry Belafonte at Carnegie Hall. This was a recording done in 1959. I grew up listening to this record, and somewhere in my garage I have the actual record. But I wanted to find the CD of it. It's got his most famous songs, Deo, etc., those things, and Matilda, and the Banana Boat song, which is the Deo song. But listening to it the other day, it just, music that is familiar to you that you grew up with as a child, Sometimes just takes you back, at least it takes me back, uh, and just brings me joy. And I just wanted to share some little joy with you. So maybe you have songs like that. Thank you for sitting with me. I think my hot water might be done, so I better go get my coffee now. And I hope that you have a blessed day, and we'll come back in a few more weeks for another visit across the kitchen table.